wonderful to be here. Um, I live in Bangkok, and as you heard from Melinda, I travel around the world most of the time, going to our 40 locations around the world. And what we've been through in Six Senses is moving from your traditional spa location to wellness. And I'm sure many of you can remember when Ariel had her nail shop or her beauty shop on every corner. And as spa became popular, she became Ariel's Nails and Spa. And now as wellness becomes popular, many locations will become Ariel's Nails, Spa and Wellness. And what is important is that we can maintain that credibility in what we are doing. Before we put up the word wellness, we need to make sure that we can really make that move. And if we have a look at how many locations are now presented, when you walk into a, a spa or a, a wellness uh, location, that is the kind of welcome that you should be getting, is what we believe. And that is what we've done in all of our locations, is to make sure that when people walk in, that they know that it's for men, for women, for kids, for elderly, for people who have an illness, for people who are perfectly healthy. We want to attract everyone into that, into that market so that they feel comfortable and they can really benefit from what we have to offer. We have to keep on guessing and researching what does our guest look for. Um, are they looking for massage and beauty or are they looking for changing their life, which is a very key element. Because nowadays, people are looking at what we offered before, and they're expecting a lot more in order to make that step from a spa over to wellness. Very key that we identify that the public are looking for a great deal more than what they looked for before. Which brings us on to wellness. And at, at Six Senses, we found that it really is a journey. I know that earlier on we heard somebody asking, how do you begin? How do you get started in taking it to, to the kids, etc.? And we believe you just get started. You just begin. You can always add to what you are doing. But regarding wellness, it's important that you, you clearly have a look at how you can take your guests and take them down a journey. And you can always update and upgrade and have a look at where the world is moving. But if you keep on waiting for the right time, you will end up waiting forever. So from our perspective, we, we expect our guests to be living in that environment, and we want to bring them into that environment. And whether we are in Mumbai or Maldives uh, or in Europe or anywhere, we want the guests to feel that transformation. So if you go back to that initial picture that I showed you from Aerial Spa into that more pleasant environment, we are really bringing that guest through so they are really feeling more relaxed and more open to what you have to present. And then we believe that the day of a guest walking into your spa and giving them a menu of what you have available, those days are truly over. What we believe in going from spa to wellness is that when the guest walks in, we have to identify what is the guest looking for. What brought them into your spa today? Why did they give up their time and not go shopping or not go to a movie or whatever? What brought them into your location now and today? And the right way would be to do a consultation in, a form, in an informal manner. We, we need to make sure that everyone knows exactly what market we are in. Are we a medical spa? Are we a hospital? No, we are a spa that provides wellness. We are a wellness center. So we want our guests to come in and relax and open up and tell us what they would like to achieve. And then we will identify what we can do to help them. So menus are, are gone and forgotten. We want to mix and match. Maybe you need a bit of this, a bit of that. Maybe you need to talk to the chef, the fitness instructor and we can put that program together. Because when you move from the one to wellness, you need to make sure that you're not just offering a wellness package on your menu. The whole journey is very important. Okay, I want to lose 10 kilograms. I'm going to really battle my way to get to the 10 kilograms. No, we want to make sure that your journey is half the fun. 
that you enjoy what you're doing or else you're going to get to your goal and then you'll probably end up putting it all back again. We want to ensure that we cater for everyone because the people who came into your, your spa before to get a facial or a massage, they're still around. And I know that most spas will have 80, 90% of your guests for coming for a, a one hour massage. Um, so you still want to make sure that you can cater for that guest, but you want to offer a much deeper journey for people who are interested. You want to take them further whereby they can find out more about how their body is operating. So how, how we are doing it in Six Senses is when a guest arrives, we would always recommend that you have a wellness screening before you even begin to think about what you would like. Because maybe your body is screaming out for help in an area where, where you're not aware of it. Maybe you think if you have a one hour massage, the whole world is going to change. So we would do a wellness screening. Uh, it would be equal in cost to one normal uh, uh, spa treatment, a one hour massage. And that would identify uh, enough about you so that we could prepare your program. Then once we prepare the program, we make sure that we can make it fun and cover all the areas of wellness in that program. So spiritually, mentally, uh, physically, fitness, nutrition, everything we could build in. So not forgetting that the, the, the um, topic of my presentation is moving from spa to wellness, and this is what we've had to do to really make sure that we offer everything that wellness does require. We had to make sure that we had experts that we could have endorse our programs. Because when you put up the word wellness, well, you were spa on Monday, and now Tuesday you wellness, how did that happen? And we have many years of research that we put into it, and we, we've had to find people who would agree that the way Six Census is offering everything is credible. So I recommend that to you as well. And then wellness is ongoing. You know, it's nutrition, it's how you sleep, and now we're looking at additional packages like jet lag to make sure that when our guests arrive at our, our resort or location, they're not going to take a day out of their holiday in order to recover from jet lag. So again, here we're working with the Harvard Medical School, we're working with um, NASA, uh, a wide variety of people to make it credible to our guests. Packaging, we heard earlier, um, I'm not quite sure who was talking, but they spoke about how we need to package wellness. And when you get a sleep program, it needs to be like you're buying an object. Okay, so we have the packaging all sorted out and we had to look into that to make sure that again, our guests could recognize the value of the sleep program. In our retail areas, before we would have product up on the shelf, but now we have 50% of our retail shop in, in our spa is non-products. It's accessories, it's clothing, it's yoga, it's all kinds of things that would provide a benefit to the lifestyle of that individual. And we've gone further by looking, into the, by looking into our suppliers and seeing exactly what they can provide so that our guests know that if we put our brand on their products, that they know that we've checked that it really is authentic, that it is going to be made in an area that is organic, um, that there's regular working hours, that everything's done that would fit into that whole wellness environment. And not forgetting sustainability making sure that sustainability remains part of the wellness world. Uh, offering your guests uh, to come and have a look at how your coconut oils are made. Uh, making sure that a guest can join you on a cleanup in the area. Um, in many different areas to make sure that it, it completes that whole wellness world. We heard earlier from Andrew about the Global Wellness Day and one thing that we love as, about Global, uh, Global. <laughs> One thing we love about Global Wellness Day is that it incorporates all the areas of wellness. You know, it's not only exercising or not only having a treatment or not only drinking water, cleaning up. It provides everything under one. And that is why it is truly a Global Wellness Day. 
here's another topic that will come up later, because when we moved from being what was recognized as a spa and we moved into wellness, we also found that it had a, a, a big effect on our employment opportunities and who began paying more attention to joining us to work in our spa environment. Uh, I've had many discussions earlier today and we hear about how people are often ashamed to work in a spa environment. They might keep it a secret from their family and we often have to go and talk to the families to let them know that it is a very real organization that we're not covering anything up. Oh. Okay, that better, I'm going to hold it. Um, so that we can really give the, the families the credibility and the comfort of knowing that we are an industry. We're not just, uh, you know, we're going to rub somebody's body. And by calling ourselves wellness, we were really able to get a much higher caliber and we were able to overcome that objection that people have in certain areas about working in a spa. We've heard all kinds of things in Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, everywhere, where this is a problem. And when you go under the wellness banner, and you don't only change your name to wellness, but you bring it through your organization, it really does help your employment. Along with the uh, way of running a business, um, for me, I found that when we were really pushing SPA, it was a lot easier because everybody knew what you offered. Everyone knew it's massage, facial, and scrub. Whereas now, we've had to retrain everyone that we have working for our company and get them all onto the wellness uh, bandwagon to ensure that when they're talking to a guest, they're going beyond come and have a massage. How many times do you phone a spa and they'll ask you, what time would you like your massage? Instead of asking you, what time would you like to visit today? And when you come in, we can talk about what treatment you would like or what screening or what activity you would like. So we had to go right through our, our operating procedures as well to ensure that we could get that right. So goals, strategy, reviews, and if a guest did come in for a treatment, that they got to find out that that is not all they could have in your location, that you offered a lot more to actually change their lives. And uh, for moving from a spa environment to a wellness environment, needs analysis requires a lot of training. Because again, if you have a guest coming into your spa and your mind is still on massage and facial, and you don't want to use the menu because you've been told that that isn't the way to look after your guest, you need to make sure that you have a consultation area uh, that isn't too uh, in, in intimidating and that you can really have your, your staff identify what that guest has come in for today and how you can help them. So a needs analysis, providing a full hospitality experience, um, ensuring that your guest